Hello ladies and gentlemen and newcomers to my channel. My name is Causal Jeffrey and welcome to my Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask playthrough. This is episode number 43 and where I last left off I got the last two masks, the Blast Mask and the Old Night Mask. And I did not go back in time so that's something I gotta do ASAP PDQ. So that's what I'm gonna do right this very moment. So. Just to start it off. And then I'll be heading off to Ica Canyon. And then that will be the start of the last dungeon. Yes, indeedy. That is the objective here. The last dungeon to which then I can go to against Majora's Mask. And since I've already taken care of the, um, taken care of uh, getting all the masks, there's only two more masks which are very relatively essential uh, to getting that go hand in hand with the the main story so it it will works out pretty well so all right slow down time and then i can just simply use the song of soar which will actually get me there asap pdq something that i will be using probably a lot <laughs> the pdq part but on the other hand hold on a moment i'm also thinking about it going okay um no, actually, I will be using the Song of Sora a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I will be, because uh, oh, later on in the... Probably later on in the series, I mean, there's going to be moments where I will have to get stuff for... <clears throat> people. So, excuse me, yes. That is what I'm going to be doing. It doesn't make it any better is the fact that done that wait a minute 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 essential darn it it didn't work <laughs> okay and actually I'll do that instead hello Okay, I'm gonna be turning into a Goron for the sake of saying that these things cannot get me. Okay, I, we've already... <laughs> you saw his ice bug out there for a second. Yeah, the reason why I'm Goron is because these... Yeah, these evil people... Yeah, they can't get me. Keep away from our house! My father is not one of you! Okay. Yeah, so they can't get in, they cannot penetrate the Goron's thick skin. That's no joke. It's not because they have a thick skin because they are immune to bad words. Oh no, it is quite the exact opposite, as a matter of fact. They have literally thick skin. Lucky them. Okay. This is where things get really creepy. Not that it isn't creepy already. Or like the previous episodes before, where I actually went to the Ica gra uh, graveyard. What business have you in Ica Kingdom? Uh, I call it Ica, so just, just bear in mind, okay? I realize it was wrong, it's spelled wrong. Like my grammar's wrong. Land where only the dead roam. What does he have to say? And actually, there is something I need to do. This is no place for one who as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. Hmm. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp will play, and join the ranks of the dead. That's all I need to do is just play a song. What is this? This song? No, no, it can't be! This song! Okay, then. <laughs> 
It's so simple. They circle the house. The house plays music. They f kind of droop down. They're tired or they're sad. Nothing unusual there, I think. But yeah, that music is pretty much what repels them. For those who don't know. And actually, the question I'd have to ask is, how did they build the house there when they were already roaming? I mean, it's a silly question, but still, in my mind, it's pretty relevant. <laughs> you never see the doorknob move. All you hear is a... And that's it. Flat. My dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that has placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sw uh, sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Ica Castle, awaiting the king coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. Like flat before. So anywho, that is what I needed to do. Plain and simple, no strings attached. Nothing unusual. Something that I say quite a lot, actually. I need to stop. Hi there, birdie. Buck tooth fiend. Imagine if they had if they had teeth on them themselves. They probably do, they're just very sharp. Nothing. Alright, so I gotta wait. That's all I need to do is wait. Wait for the door to open. Just hide around the corner. That's what I'll do. Oh, wait. That's right. I know what to do. I know what to do. Blow it up. Uh, run away, run away. Okay. <laughs> it worked like a charm. <laughs> Just to investigate it. She's like, huh. What was that noise? Carefully. Silently. Unaware that I am behind her, entering the house and investigating what is inside this peculiar house that makes a wonderfully annoying noise. So, anyway, wonder what's in the broom closet. Let's find out. It is a deformed individual who has cracks in his eyes. This mummy looks different, sort of like. It's here waiting for its human heart to be healed. Well, do something. Haven't you figured it out yet? Not a clue. Uh. There we go. I had to remember the song. Father? Father! Uh, Pamela? I don't, I, more or less, I was just not, I was not in the character, I was just like, uh, was that what she's called? What have you, what have I been doing this whole time? You, 
haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Oh. Pamela. <laughs> and there's one of the last masks I needed. You got the Gib Gibdu mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gib Gibdu would mistake you as one of its own. Yeah, that's what it's called. Let them be, don't you get it? You're so insensitive. I am not! I'm just a little unaware of what things are hap what is happening. This is all. And then I'll just go back inside and talk to him. Why not? Um, what you did to for my father, thank you. But you helping us, it's a secret from my father. Whenever anything anything strange happens, my father immediately talks starts talking about doing research. And he doesn't and he does all kinds of crazy things, so once he calms down a bit, I think I'll try convincing him to quit researching in this dangerous place and go back go back to town. So if my father sees you again, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, isn't it this a fairy? Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. I had to take care of something. Oh, isn't this this a fairy? Isn't this yours, young man? I am the famed uh, academic who researches fairies, ghosts, and similar so-called supernatural phenomenon. Phenomena. By the way, the song "Farewell to Gibdus," oh, which is the music box is now playing, drives away Gibdus. I discovered it after many years of researching Gibdus. In regards to ghosts, there isn't another academic who can match my knowledge. So ask me anything you'd like. Are you curious about the, that picture? That is a mummified man. It's a scientific name called Gibdu. A tale in Ica tells of a treasure that rests at the bottom of the well on the hilltop. It seems the spirits of those who became Gibdus upon entering the well in search of that treasure will linger inside. It's been said going down there is a pedif uh, petrifying or pet petrifying experience. So even the mummy hunter, so the mummy hummer hunter may become mummified. <laughs> Are you curious about that picture? That is a is the ghost of a ninja. Its scientific name is a uh, something. They are merely shells that are empty on the inside. They are the shells of spies from an enemy nation sent sent to investigate Ica. They have been unable to forget forget their living days. Even now, their spirits, emptiness, cloaked in darkness, continue to spy. According to rumor, those. Or whatever they frequently appear near the ranch on the on the far side of town. Hmm. So I guess that's mostly it right there. I'm gonna head to the well. That was a good source of information there. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of back and forth, running back and forth. You know, once I get to the... Okay, <laughs> I realize she's gonna say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I avoided that. That's what I do best. Whoops, I don't need to do that. Alright, so I'm at the bottom of the well, and okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, so... Yeah, in the next episode, I'm gonna go be going through the well, and facing off against them folks down there at the end of the hall. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to leave me a like, it lets me know how I'm doing. If you want to leave a comment in the comment section, that will also let me know how I'm doing. And I will leave an ending card so that way you can watch the previous episode if you haven't got caught up in that. In that. 
or seen that episode, and I will leave a link in the description that will leave a that will link you to my channel to more of my videos if you feel so bold or if you're just curious altogether. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.